much. Does your vagina feel a little off? Does it smell a little off no matter how many times you wipe? No matter what you do, no matter what you put in, no matter what you use to clean it out, it just, the smell does not go away. Well, I think you may have bacterial vaginosis. You know how I know? Because I've suffered with it for like most of my adult life, unfortunately. Down below this video, I have a link to my step-by-step -step course where I show you exactly how I myself have you right? Where I show you step by step what I do to get rid of my bacterial vaginosis. The course is $10,997. I hope you take advantage of this opportunity. Bye bye. Bye. Genesis um, chapter 32, verse 43. Um, I'm reading where Jacob um, is making the treaty with Laban. So I think this is a, this is after Jacob like left with like um, his wives and the kids and stuff. Jacob. These women are my daughters. These children are my grandchildren. These flocks are my flocks. In fact, everything you see is mine. But what can I do now about my daughters and their children? So come, let's make a covenant, you and I, and it will be a witness to our commitment. So Jacob took a stone and set it up as a monument. Then he told his family members, gather some stones. So they gathered the stones and piled them in, in a heap. 
Then Jacob and Laban sat down beside the pile of stones to eat a covenant meal. To commemorate the event, Laban called the place Jegar Sahaduta, which means witness pile in Aramaic. And Jacob called it Gilead, which means witness pile in Hebrew. Then Laban declared, this pile of stone will stand as a witness to remind us of the covenant we have made today. This explains why it was called Galeed, witness pile, but it was also called Mizpah, which means keep watch between us to make sure that we keep this covenant while we are out each other's sight. If you mistreat my daughters or if you marry other wives, God will see it and God will see it even if no one else does. He is a witness to this covenant between us. See this pile of stones, Laban continued. See this monument I have set between us. They stand between us as witnesses of our vows. I will never pass this pile of stones to harm you. You must never pass these stones or this monument to harm me. I call on the God of our ancestors, the God of your grandfather Abraham, and the God of my father and the Lord to serve as a judge between us. So Jacob took an oath before the fearsome God of his father Isaac to respect the boundary line. Then Jacob offered a sacrifice to one to a covenant feast. After they had eaten, they spent the night on the mountain. Laban got early the next morning and kissed his grandchildren and his daughters and blessed them. Then he left and returned home. As Jacob started on his way again, angels of God came to meet him. When Jacob saw them, he exclaimed, This is God's camp. So he named the place Mahanaim. So now we're on um, I apologize, but I just read was Genesis chapter 31, verse 43. Now we're on Genesis chapter 32 verse 3 this is when jacob sends gifts to esau so you guys know already jacob has fleed because his mom rebecca was like you gotta go like especially after he took both blessings um from their father when it was supposed to go to jacob so this is like i guess it's getting significant because now jacob is like damn can i feel bad i'm assuming if he sends the gift but let's find out then Jacob sent messengers ahead to his brother Esau, who was living in the region of Seir in the land of Edom. He told them, give this message to my master Esau. So that's crazy because Jacob had asked Esau to hand over his birthrights. So now, I forgot what else he made him do. I know he made him sign over the birthrights, but now Jacob is referring to Esau as the master, as like what well, he's always been, as the firstborn. So he said, give this message to my master Esau. Humble greetings, so I'm assuming this is what the, the message read. Humble greetings from your servant Jacob. Until now I have been living with Uncle Laban, and I now own cattle, donkeys, flocks of sheep and goats, and many servants, both men and women. I have sent these messengers to inform my Lord of my coming, hoping that you will be friendly to me. So after all I did, I'm coming back. Can we like be cool? <laughs> after delivering the message, the messengers returned to Jacob and reported and reported, we met your brother Esau, and he is already on his way to meet you with an army of 400 men. <laughs> Jacob was terrified at the news. He divided his household along with the flocks and the herds and the camels into two groups, he thought. If Esau meets one group and attacks it, perhaps the other group can escape. Dang. I can like count a number of times.
times where that's happened to me where like I'm trying to like apologize to someone and it like ends up backfiring and I was better off just not apologizing and just like continuing on you know but we'll see we don't know how this is gonna end just because he's coming with 400 men doesn't mean they're there to attack it could just mean like hey look at all you've done and, like, I'm not gonna like let you walk all over me so I'm like putting my guard up and by him Jacob putting his guard up Sorry, by Esau putting his guard up is by him like coming like with his friends. Consider I'm just referring to like 400 men, like maybe it's like his supporters, his friends, maybe like you know his homeboys, so that you know he's, um, Jacob doesn't make do that mess again. Um, so then Jacob prayed, "O oh God, my grandfather Abraham, and O oh God, my father Isaac." O oh Lord, you told me, return to your land and to your relatives, and you promised me I will treat you kindly. I am not worthy. O oh Lord, you told me, return to your land and to your relatives, and you promised me I will treat you kindly. I am not worthy of all the unfailing love and faithfulness you have shown me, your servant. When I left home and crossed the Jordan River, I owed nothing except Okay, so this is still the prayer, guys. Let's start over. Jacob prayed, O oh God, my grandfather Abraham, and O oh God, my father Isaac, O oh Lord, you told me, return to your own land and to your relatives, and you promised me I will treat you kindly. I am not worthy of all the unfailing love and faithfulness you have shown me, your servant. Shown to me, your servant. When I left home and crossed the Jordan River, I owed nothing except a walking stick, and now my household fills two large camps. O oh Lord, please rescue me from the hand of my brother Esau. I am afraid that he is coming to attack me along with my wives and children. But you promised me I will surely treat you kindly, and I will your descendants until they become as numerous as the sands on the seashore, along the seashore. Too many to count. Jacob stayed where he was for the night. Then he selected these gifts from his possessions to present to his brother Esau. 200 female goats, 20 male goats, 20 ewes, 20 rams, 10 bulls, 20 female donkeys, and 10 male donkeys. He divided these animals into herds and assigned each to different servants. Then he told his servants, go ahead with me and the animals, but keep some distance between the herds. He gave these instructions to the men leading the first group. When my brother Esau meets you, he will ask, whose servants are you? Who are you going or where are you going? Who owns these animals? And you must reply, they will belong to your servant Jacob, but they are they belong to your servant Jacob, but they are a gift for his master Esau. He is coming right behind us. So he sent his servants. He sent his servants first with the herds before they got to meet Jacob just to kind of like break the ice I guess <laughs> um yeah They will belong to your they belong to your servant Jacob, but they are a gift for his master Esau. Look, he is coming right behind us. Jacob gave the same instructions to the second and third herdsmen, and to all who followed behind the herds. You must say the same thing to Esau when you meet him. And 
be sure to say, look, your servant Jacob is right behind us. So, like, be sure to remind him that, like, I remember um, that I'm not the firstborn, and that I've been your servant, and I'm acknowledging that now. So, I'm letting you know that I acknowledge that before you come and, like, try to talk to me all crazy, like, I knew I was wrong. Jacob thought I would try to appease him by sending... Jacob thought I would try to appease him by sending gifts ahead of me. When I see him in person, perhaps he will be friendly to me. So the gifts were sent on ahead while Jacob himself spent the night in the camp. So now we're on Genesis chapter 32, verse 22. Jacob wrestles with God. During the night, Jacob got up and took his two wives, his two servant wives, and his eleven sons, and crossed. So then Rachel gives him, Jacob, Rachel gives Jacob the serpent, Phyla. Phyla gets pregnant and she has Dan. Then she has
So I guess five sons came from Leah, but obviously from the servants, and then Rachel and Sarah from Leah. So that's me, Dr. Tim. Leah, what do
Thank you.